I will say the entire place smells like uh, beans. So I'm assuming beans are involved. Or you've just been farting up a storm in here. No! <laughs> hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to my apartment. We are of course still working from home right now. So this will be yet another episode of Doing Our Best. I'm really excited because today we're gonna be doing a recipe that I think's a little weird. I know, go figure on the show, something's weird. So today what we're gonna be making is edible chocolate chip cookie dough with chickpeas. Yay. This is something I've seen floating around the internet and it's something I've always wanted to try because chickpeas are filled with protein and other good stuff. All right, so without further ado, let's dig into this recipe. Let's talk chickpeas now. Let's call this chickpea talking corner. Chickpeas come in two ways. You can get them pre-cooked, canned or boxed, or you can get them dried. If you have dried chickpeas, okay, cool. Take your chickpeas, put them in a pot, cover them with water and boil them for about five minutes and then let them soak for about an hour. If you're using canned chickpeas, cover them with water and put about two teaspoons of lemon juice in there and let that sit for about 10 to 20 minutes. This should help to pull the canned bean juice flavor out of there. The first thing we wanna do is peel the skins off. It's really easy to do. It's not as tedious as it may sound. The skins usually just pop right off. The skins usually just pop right off. It actually reminds me of when I was in elementary school and I used to put glue all over my hands and let it dry and then peel the glue off. So if you can like think of it like that, it's really fun. When I said it wasn't too tedious, maybe that was being generous. It takes a little while, but you know, again, think of the glue thing and it's totally fun. It's even relaxing. I'm gonna dump these out here. It's really easy to do. Just pop right off. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> This is gonna take a little while. It's totally fun. It's even relaxing. That's okay, we got time, right? We got nothing but time. It's really fun. I feel like there has to be an easier way. I'm gonna try to shake a few of them out, see if that works. Like garlic peels, you can usually shake them and they loosen. I didn't do anything. I'm gonna see if I can find any tips to do this in bulk a lot faster than this. Be right back. So what we wanna do is just cover them with a towel and just slowly massage them and give them a good rub down. All right, let's see. Yeah, nice. These look great. So now some of the skins are just loose in here. You can just toss those away. Most of them, if the skins haven't come off completely, they're very loose on the chickpea, so you can just finish the job. Okay, that took a long time. I thought that was going to be faster, but that's okay. And now what I'm gonna do is add chickpeas, two teaspoons of coconut oil, and one teaspoon of lemon juice, and I'm gonna blend that up. All right, now we're gonna add almost all of our other ingredients except for the chocolate chips, and then we're gonna blend that up too. Add some dark brown sugar and some granulated sugar, almond meal, or almond flour, baking soda, vanilla extract, and we're gonna blend that up. Check that out. She's looking pretty promising. It really has the texture of cookie dough. It's not like grainy or anything like that. It's very smooth. Finally, what we're gonna do, the moment you've all been waiting for, is we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. Cause if we're gonna do cookie dough, let's do chocolate chip cookie dough. Let's mix that up. We just wanna fold these chocolate chips into our cookie dough. Do you believe in chickpea dough? I feel like she just has to come out. All right, we're all done. So now I'm gonna cover this up and I'm going to put it in the fridge for about an hour. You can also put it in the freezer for like 30 minutes if you want to. Um, I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. Be back soon. Okay, so the cookie dough has been in the fridge for an hour and apparently in that hour it got dark. So, again, doing our best. Okay, let's try this thing. It looks like cookie dough. I'm feeling a lot of things. <laughs> it doesn't taste like cookie dough. It tastes like healthy-ish junk food. It looks like cookie dough, but it doesn't taste just like it, but it tastes good. If you're looking for something that's a good source of protein and can kind of hit the sweet notes for you, tickle your sweet tooth, this is a good option, but I have no clue 
what Arya is gonna think of this. He doesn't like beans. I'm a little nervous. This one's a thinker. I mean, I can't stop eating it. Let's let him try this. I'm super, super intrigued to see what he thinks. All right, come on in. Tall and thin and young and handsome, the boy from him. But me, my ghost. <laughs> you're cute. Oh, you're a beautiful woman. Well, yeah, see if you still think that after I give this to you. Ta-da! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, cookie dough! Two treats in a row? You keep plying me with sweets. It smells like cookie dough. I will say the entire place smells like uh, beans. <laughs> the entire kitchen smells like So I'm assuming beans are involved. Or you've just been farting up a storm in here. No! This someone loves to toot. No, this I do loves not! To toot. <laughs> But we love her. I love her still. Uh, okay. Um, but that said, apart from the smell of beans that's pervading the area, this smells like cookie dough. Come with me and you'll... Willy Wonka. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> uh, okay. At first it tasted just like cookie dough, but then that kind of bean flavoring, that earthy, whatever, I don't know what the ingredient is, but whatever it is, that it came through in the Ingredient end. is beans. It's just beans? Chickpeas. Chickpeas! Protein, that's good. That makes me feel better about this. I love a good uh, hummus. Because I think maybe in my mind, because I knew that beans were involved, that I was tasting it. Because at first, I don't taste it. Then, there it comes. Well, it's not bad though. Texture, the texture is also like, the texture is spot, is spot on. So that's what gives it a nice rating. It's not bad. I would give this a nice solid, I don't think how you say 7.3 in, in Portuguese. So I don't think that's it at all. <laughs> I made up the language. Did you make that up? Yeah, I definitely did. 7.3 out of 10. I'm trying to be healthier, so if I were going to indulge in something unhealthy, I prefer something like the brownies. Yeah. The vegan brownies you made. Separate video. All the other stuff you've given, I would eat again, because most of them taste good, except for fucking watermelon. Um, <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. I've been to cities that never close down <laughs> From New York to Rio and old London town But no matter how far or how wide I roam I still call Australia home <laughs> Why are you singing that song? <laughs> it's a good song. Australia Hugh Jackman sings has it. nothing to do with it. I love you, Hansel. I love you, sweetie. Thank you. Okay.